Hey, 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 guys, we are back with another video, but this one's a little different. This time, we're going to be looking at doing Roblox merch tutorial. You guys have been asking me in the stream how I make my merch, so I'm going to show you how we do it. Let's get right into it. So, guys, what you first want to do is you want to head over to Google and you want to search Roblox merch template just like so head over to images and you want one that is transparent make sure it is because you don't want to mess it up so all you want to do is take one like this, right click it and click save image as. I don't need to do that as I already have one. So now that you have got your Roblox merch template saved, you want to head over to Google and search for PixLR. That's PixLR. It's completely free to use guys. And when you head over here, you want to make sure that when you're on the home page, you click PixLRE. So as long as you pick that one, you're good to go. It's completely free. You don't have to log in. But if you choose to, that's entirely up to you. As you can see, I've already done a couple in here. So what we want to do is we want to open image. Then we want to find where the template is mine is in its folder as you can see select it and it will bring you to this where you can then zoom in so it's really simple how this works this is always the front of your t-shirt this is the back this is the sides and this is the top where your shoulders and this is the bottom and then these guys are the arms so as you can see here these would be the front, these would be the side and the side, this is, so this is where it folds and then these would be the back. But you never really need to worry about them unless you've got a, a detailed design but for today's tutorial it's just a basic T. So what you want to do is you want to click this little plus and you want to add an empty layer. You want to add an empty layer and then you want to come over to here where it says background. You want to click this little padlock and unlock it. Then you want to right click and make sure it's unlocked. Yeah. Then you hit the little X button and you put that above your layer 2. Your background always wants to be above. So then we now can lock it. So you right click and you lock it easy as that guys once you've done that guys what you want to do is you want to head over here to this colored uh, circle you're not seeing my mouse right now but yeah you want to head to that colored circle right there then you want to choose which um, color background you want your shirt to be for me, I want a medium black to dark grey. I don't want it 100% black, um, but this is down to personal preference. So whatever colour background you want, just select it. You can use the colour chart right here. And then you want to head up to here where this rectangle button is. It's the marquee select. You want to make sure that the rectangle is selected for this. Make sure it is set to rectangle, guys. Then what you want to do is you want to head over to where this L is in the word Roblox, just as a guideline. And then you want to press down with your mouse and pull all the way over. And go to the length. So if you're making, say, a crop top, you would come to about here. But for this tutorial, we're going to make a basic T full length. So we'll go to about there. 
Then what you want to do guys is you want to hit this little bucket which is the fill and then you want to select the t-shirt to fill in. Then guys we want to select the mouse button, the arrow sorry, the arrow button. Then from there guys what we want to do is we want to click the marquee select once again make sure the rectangle is selected and then we want to head over here to do our sleeves now this is personal choice on how long you want your sleeves for this tutorial i'm going to go mid mid length so they're just before your elbow so I'll just click like so then we want to hit the fill button again just to make sure it's all the same colour then guys you can then go back and hit this mouse button the little arrow button then what you want to do guys is you want to select the marquee once again but this time make sure it's set to the ellipse if I've said it wrong I apologise and then we want to zoom in a little over here so we want to hit the hand button so we can move the image if you click this little hand tool it lets you move the image around so I'll get it into a position where you can see this area then you want to go back over here and hit the marquee select make sure it's on ellipse and then we want to put in the neck area so you want it to be around say 66 by 63 62 that's not bad we'll go with that then what we want to do is we want to get the mouse head over to the arrow button so that we can move and make it pretty central if you need to zoom in just zoom in but you want to make sure it's pretty central this is your neck area guys once you're happy with that click in the center of it and click the backspace like so then you can head back over to the arrow button and then you can zoom out like so so guys now that we've done the neck area what you want to do is depending on your own design some people may have design on the back or just the front or just the back for this we're just going to do it on the front now for me I want to have text so what I want to do is I want to go to Google and you want to look type in photo p photo p is complete completely free to use and it is online um, now this part is all down to your own personal design so whatever you are choosing to design so in this instance i'm gonna go 1920 by 1080 and i want the background to be transparent and we can create and then we are given this box right here now if you head down to the magnifying glass which is just here you just click on the magnifying glass and you want to click fit to area so then it puts this in the center space then you want to click the little arrow at the top so it gives you your mouse cursor back now for this I just want a simple nice looking text to put on the shirt so we're going to head over here to where the letter T is click the letter T then you want to choose what sort of text you would like in this instance um, you've got so much to choose from like there is loads um, and you're better choosing something that is within 
photo pete so that you know um that it's safe to use and it's not copyrighted or licensed to anyone um it is really really simple to use it is down to personal preference in this instance i am going to use one of my favorite which is luckiest guy it's always big and clear now depending on what color you want your text to be i'm going to leave it black so that you can see what i am typing size is entirely up to you because you're going to shrink it down anyway so you're better making it bigger so when you shrink it down it's not pixelated make sure you are set to the center so that your text is central and then i am going to come in here and make it to about 98 for now then i just click type whatever i want my word to be like so easy peasy then what i want to do is i will hold and highlight it enlarge it a little bit more then i will hold down the shift key and i will left click on the mouse to enlarge it even bigger then you want to line it up so that a red line appears across and vertical when we get there nope right that is central to this area but i still want to go a bit bigger because i know i'm going to be making this really small to fit on that t there we go so that is central then you want to head over to where your text is highlighted right click on the mouse and you want to select blending options then this is all down to personal choice i'm going to show you how i make my font and then you can decide and change to what suits your style so firstly i want to go to gradient overlay if you want your text to be one color select color overlay like so it will drop down and you can select here um, what color you want it to be the opacity you can slide up and down so if you say I want pink text but you don't want it to be super bright like that or super seeable you want it to be toned down a bit you can just mess around with that there but for this instance I want gradient overlay then you can come in here and you can find different presets already made so I will go like so but then you may feel well actually I don't want them colors so you can just move this over slightly and if you click the box you can then select the individual colors and change them to what you want them to be so I'm going to make this nice and bright and colorful I'm going to leave the yellow in the middle and I'm going to change this orange to another green because I don't actually have any green font on any of my tees at the minute so that is the gradient then you want to come along and you want to outline it now this again is personal choice down to colors and size so for mine you're not really going to see the outline so much because the background is already white but remember I am putting it onto a black tee so it will be noticeable i usually put my outline to about 12 to 16 just depending on how thick you want it because don't forget it is gonna get shrunk so you want to be able to see it then um for a little added smoothness i always check the bevel see how it just gives that little bit of depth there i will remove it so you can see again one second we'll move this right over here so if i untick this button you see how flat it looks but by clicking the bevel and then boss it just gives it that little edge then i want to also give it some drop shadow 
Now drop shadow, you want to click and then you want to drag the opacity to 100. And it decides to slide. There we go. It just gives it that little bit of 3D effect from the edging. Now, if you want a bit of outer glow, that is entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to have a little look. I don't think I'll need it, but we'll see. So I'm going to select green because the text is green. I'm going to pull the opacity all the way up to 100. And then the spread, I'm going to switch to about 26. I'll see how that looks. I don't think I'm going to use glow. Now, if you can see, there's just a little bit of glow around the edge of the lettering. But to be honest, by the time it's shrunk, I don't think you're even going to notice it. But we'll leave that as it is. So it's as simple as that, guys, for your text. You can then come up to where it says File, Export As. Make sure you select PNG. Make sure your background is transparent and then you can save it like so. Then you want to return back to your photo editor, which is your pixel LRE. Make sure your image is still here. And then we're going to now add the text. Right, so now guys, we want to add that text that we just made in photo P to our t-shirt, right? So you want to click this little plus sign and you want to select image. You want to select or find where you put your text. As you can see, I've got this one here. And then you want to click open. It will come in really big, but do not panic. What you want to do is you want to select it and then you want to scroll out and you want to shrink it way down. And then you want to scroll back in and zoom back in. So now you can then hold the shift button and minimize it. You don't necessarily need to hold the shift button. I just choose to. So that now is central in the middle of that T. Now it looks a little pixelated, that is completely fine. What you now want to do is unlock this padlock again and then you want to drag that above so the image is on top guys. And that guys is it, it's as easy as that. So all you want to do now is file, save, make sure it's set to PNG, save as Save it to wherever you need it to be. Mine is going to be right here in Roblox Merch Template. And that's it. Complete. Thanks for watching, guys. So, guys, I hope that Roblox Merch Tutorial helps you in some way. If you need any more info, just leave a comment and I will get right back to you. Don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe. It helps the channel. I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.